Hi, I'm Samantha. I'm from AWS. And today I'm talking about designing and building with confidence in a bushfire zone. This can be challenging at times, especially when you add the complexities of compliance requirements. The fact is homes need to comply with a variety of regulations and standards. Bushfire attack level, otherwise known as BAL, energy efficiency and thermal performance, air infiltration, water penetration and noise, to name a few. These regulations have become more stringent over the years, and I think we can all agree this is a good thing. We used to build homes with very little consideration for how they performed. In fact, Australian homes earned the nickname of glorified tents. Temperature, noisiness, comfort and bushfires were rarely considered. Now we're thinking not just about how homes will look, but how they will feel and function to live in. The good news is when it comes to bow rated windows, AWS has you covered. We have the largest range of BAL40 tested windows and doors in Australia. We simultaneously comply with other regulatory requirements such as energy, ventilation, noise, etc. We offer stylish contemporary designs favoured by architects and designers alike. The importance of tested systems over deemed to satisfy cannot be underestimated. Tested systems require the window or door to undergo extensive testing in real life scenarios. They are tested in laboratories with actual fire and extreme heat applied. Deemed to satisfy, on the other hand, has not undergone any testing. These products are manufactured to a formula in the hope that they will actually achieve consistent results. Whilst these requirements are stringent, in our opinion, good enough doesn't cut it. We don't want any doubt. We want peace of mind in what we're offering. So providing tested systems is a no-brainer for us. All our window and door systems that are tested and rated for BAL40 can be used in lower BAL rated zones too. Aside from peace of mind, one of the main benefits of a tested system over a deemed to satisfy is in the use of screens. With a tested system, you only have to screen the operable part of a window, and this is the part that opens and closes, as opposed to the whole window or door. I wish I had known this when my house had been built. I live in the Blue Mountains and the property I am on was destroyed in the 2013 Winmalee fires. When my home was rebuilt, they applied screens to all the windows and doors as per the deemed to satisfy requirements. What this means to my home is that it's really dark inside. During autumn and winter, we actually take the screens off to let more natural light in. Then we put them back on in spring. It always takes me a few weeks to adjust to how dark my living space actually becomes, and it's really quite depressing. Feedback tells us that taking screens off is not uncommon among homeowners. The problem with this, of course, is that when my screens come off, my windows no longer comply with the deemed to satisfy provisions, and there's no way of knowing how my windows might perform. I'm someone who works in the industry, so I understand the risk with removing my screens, which is why I put them back on going into the bushfire season. But many people don't, and they'll remove the screens permanently. Let's have a look at these examples of screen configurations for tested systems versus deemed to satisfy. You can see with the tested systems, you have more light coming in. So I know which way I'd rather go. I've also included some photos of screens at my place so you can actually see it in situ. The reality is they make me feel like I've been locked in a dungeon. And despite the open plan design of the living area, I feel quite trapped. I also wish thermal comfort had been a consideration when my home was built. Lots of people assume that bow windows also perform better in terms of thermal comfort, but they don't. You'd think if they withstand the heat of a fire, surely they can block out the heat of a 40 degree day. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. What is thermal comfort? Thermal comfort is when you feel neither too hot nor too cold. You are just right. A little bit like Goldilocks. When thermal comfort is not present, it will impact your health and well-being. Whilst my home was built to comply with the regulations, it was only built to the bare minimum standards. This means I have a home that's compliant with BAL, but it's freezing cold in winter and boiling hot in summer. I rely heavily on air conditioning that is woefully inefficient due to the design. So knowing what I do now, I would build with a thermally broken BAL tested frame with double glazing. 
Most homes are built with a typical aluminium frame and standard glass. This lets in up to 87% of heat during summer and lets out up to 40% of heat during winter. Having a thermally broken frame means there's a nylon barrier built within the frame to reduce the heat transfer in and out of the home, therefore making your home more comfortable all year round. Building with tested thermally broken frames would ensure one, I was compliant with bow, two, screens would be kept to a minimum, maximising natural light, and three, my home would be more comfortable temperature wise all year round. Hindsight's a wonderful thing, isn't it? Selecting windows and doors that comply with BAL and other requirements shouldn't be difficult or problematic. To assist you throughout the process and make it as easy as possible, AWS provide the following. The largest range of tested systems in Australia, a national network of fabricators to work with, an architectural specification team to assist with those tricky projects, and full and comprehensive test reports to assist with certification. Well, you've heard from me, but to wrap up, here's some insights from Chris Blaber, who used AWS products when building his home in a bushfire zone on the Mornington Peninsula. Two major tripwires for us through the process were the extremeness of a Bell 29 zone. We're just off a national park here. Plus also the stringentness of the energy rating as well. We've got a huge amount of glass that's going on in this home. And at the time we went around when we were going on our initial search and we had supplier after supplier say to us, we cannot build windows to these specifications. And we had that moment where we went, oh my God, we have to go back through town planning and spec up a home with lesser quality or lesser size windows. And then after speaking with AWS, they could tick off all those big boxes. And it was that moment of, well, we've got no other choice. We're not gonna compromise design. The fact that we had an energy requirement, we had to tick, AWS ticked that quite beautifully. Uh, we also had the fire rating as well. Straight away, we've ticked the two major boxes and does it feel and look beautiful without a doubt. To anybody who's never done this before, it is a daunting process. And to have somebody like AWS, it was awesome to know that they've got a network of approved fabricators. They've got a team we can call on. It was just the ability to run it through a sieve of somebody who knows what they're talking about, of somebody who's looking to get the best result for you. I couldn't be happier. If I was gonna do it again, number one, I'd pull into AWS showroom and say, work out my schedule, please. What a beautiful home. Anyway, thanks for watching. AWS is here to help. So come and talk to us about your project.